Former UCLA star, 10 years in the NBA with a variety of teams, Mavs, T-Wolves, Cavs, Celtics, Clips, Kings, Wizards, Grizz, Bobcats. The well-traveled Ryan Hollins is now joining us on the show today. It works. They play so fast that the rest of the NBA isn't ready. In the playoffs, everybody's getting back on defense. Everybody's playing hard. So you don't think Houston's going to be this dominant in the playoffs? Are you kidding me? Has D'Antoni been that dominant in the playoffs? Has Harden? Has Paul? We're talking guys without championships, so they magically put it together now. The cheat code right here, Mr. LeBron James, because I can play LeBron at one, two, three, four, or five. So now I've got versatility. Because I can't do that with Giannis? He was playing point guard two years yeah, ago or a year he's ago. He's not LeBron, though. He's, he's nice. That was a great pick. You stole that one from me. And Baron Davis, hands down, the best specimen. 345 Baron Davis preseason. Point guard, preseason position. When he point guard position, just talent, raw talent. Dribble, jump. Pass, dunk on you, finish in the lane. It's town. We're only Magic. talking town. about Irv. No, Magic's the man, but he couldn't defend. The Warriors been together for what six or seven years. Yeah, Kevin Love's been year. thrown together for two years. Oh. Kevin Love missed a lot of the playoffs. Yeah. So there's a culture that's still being built right now in Cleveland. And hats off to LeBron. Think about what he's built within one year. Yeah, but you know what? It's two years now. Goes. But Ryan, it's two yeah, years now. Like you've been in the, the same way. squad for two They've years. <laughs> you handpicked them. They're all star caliber. The whole thing. You have the coach. He two years is enough time. The best available. Two, Don't say oh, it. Oh, 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 get up he here, Paul Austin. If I'm going to sacrifice shooting, I'd rather sacrifice it with the guy who can push the ball like lightning, who can pass, who can share it, who can distribute. One thing the Lakers need to do and they want to do, and if you want to win, there's one thing you have to do if you hadn't seen it. You have to play faster. He's got some of the most potential. Unfortunately, oh, okay. I cannot call uh, I, him. I thought you were about to say it. I, yeah. The best big in the league right now. His team isn't winning. Are they above 500? I don't think so. The biggest knock is that he's not Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. And we throw him in that, in those expectations. Kobe Bryant and Michael never understood their brand while playing. LeBron understands what he means to the game. Chris, I can't let you do that, man, because I know for a fact from being in that locker room with Ty Lue, he's a stand-up guy. I and if he's stepping away, it's for something real. I lost my father because of chest pains in his heart. So when I hear something like that, I'm alarmed as a friend, as a former player, and have big respect to him as a coach. And I agree. This is part of the show. You knew LeBron brings the circus. You knew he's the only player. You talked about Kobe. You talked about Mike. He understands he's bigger than the organization. He's bigger than basketball. So LeBron is going to let that be known. Is he a malicious guy? No. Is it a knife in the back, Gottlieb? No. I can't say that. Think about it. Think about LeBron's character. He went back to Cleveland because he cares that much. So he wants Ty to get better, and I think this is something that Cleveland really rallies around. The UTEP Miners played like a team fighting for their, their careers, fighting for their lives tonight. There is a sense of urgency. There was fight that you appreciate from this group. Great basketball. The problem as players that we have with refs is not that they call a foul here, miss a foul there. It's consistency. I want to know that a foul is a foul night in and night out. I've been on both sides of this thing where we were essentially cheated from the reps and the refs have cheated for me. I am saying that the referees cheat. They hold personal vendettas. They do. They go too far they will assume a call before it happens. Drives me nuts. And we talked about how close the West is, right? Right. So a call or two literally sways the outcome of our game. From opening with Houston <laughs> to opening against Portland. <laughs> Kevin Garnett taught me the most in the league from any coach, any other player, any situation, because he had a similar body frame and skill set than I had. And he really taught me how to play the game. Michael Jordan is another guy with Scottie Pippen, who's the only one who could really teach him how to take his game to the next level. I don't think he has that in Seattle, Coach. Coach, I see this as a must win for Toronto. They have to a make must a, win. a must win. They've got to make a statement to the league. Really? And you only do that by knocking off the league's best. I painted my hairline on. Stop. My <laughs> presses. My this is going to be done for the next half hour. My barber. No, just hold it. You painted your hair on? The barber the bar painted my hairline on. <laughs> and while LeBron is playing, I'm going to unplug here. If you remember, <laughs> if you remember Carlos Boozer, he painted his beard on and his beard came off during a game. So Sierra Canyon has not been able to beat you. They've gotten the looks they want. They've got it to the free throw line. Come beat us. See us in overtime.
Who do you send to finish at the rim then if you feel like you can get there? Do you send Pippen? Do you send Washington? Do you send Stanley? If you're Coach Chevalier, you send the same guy that you had. You, you couldn't ask for a greater look. And as a matter of fact, I go back to Scottie Pippen Jr. again if the play is there. This makes me think of my 49ers. We were essentially a winless organization. Uh, you're still, we were down in the dumps. They're still. Get, no, don't you do that to me. <laughs> we ended up in four games. The, we're the hottest team in the league right now. Uh, we are undefeated. Yeah, you in Philadelphia, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but nonetheless, who, what do we get, Chad? We got a quarterback. We let's, got a quarterback. Let's, so let's, I agree. Let's, let's talk Rockets. Let's do it. Please. So they have a guy. Something on them. Who should have been and would have been if little brother didn't break the record last year for triple doubles, the MVP of the NBA in James Harden. Mm -hmm. What they do in the offseason? Came back and inquired the point general, the man, arguably the best point guard. Point guard. Of the generation, Chris Paul. There is no doubt that the Rockets stepped in as contenders. But I'm here to tell you, fellas, uh -oh. everything that glitters uh -oh. ain't gold. Oh, it no. looks good. It looks great in the regular season. What's wrong But with you? the Rockets, George, the Rockets, they are pretenders. I don't believe Mal. Are you kidding? Dunk it, Mal. Oh. Dunk it. Oh. I can't. 